Lieutenant General Russell Honore. He was tasked by House Speaker Pelosi to assess the security of the Capitol after the siege. Now, Lieutenant General, welcome back. Why was it so important today for the officers to use the word insurrection and the word terrorist? For, uh, Nara, for six months, these officers, while wounding, collecting themselves and getting treated for their wounds, and the uh, mental trauma they have gone through have been listening to the former president, even to members in the uh, House and the Senate, uh, totally mischaracterized what happened on 1 6, stating that it was a, a tourism event, that it was a, a friendly event. Well, we all know by listening to their testimony today that this uh, was a battle a battle to try to defeat them so they could overthrow our government. I think the other thing Nara that came to light today is the racist tone of white nationalists who wore Trump uniforms and Trump paraphernalia. Uh, that's very enlightening. I'd heard reports of some of this had gone on, but it characterized this as a white nationalist terrorist group who tried to overthrow our government, who showed no respect for minorities who were there in uniform trying to protect the Capitol, and they singled them out. That is a sign of racism and a throwback to uh, Jim Crow when they thought they could tell people anything, anytime. And I'm glad to see much of this is caught on camera and over 500 of them put in jail. And then we need to put the rest of them in jail. Lieutenant General, I'd like to play some sound for you. Uh, and that's of the officers speaking about the type of war that is being fought right now. It was a war that we fought and a war is composed of a bunch of different battles and everybody even sitting at this table, fought a different battle that day, but it was all for the same war. Um, and as black officers, I believe we fought a different battle also. And um, the fact that we had our, our race attacked and just because of the way we look, you know. To answer your question, frankly, I guess it is America. It shouldn't be, but I guess that's the way that things are. I don't condone it, I don't like it, but I mean, if you look at our history of American history, things are, countries existed because they beat, they won a war or colonies and state lines and boundaries exist because of violence and wars. Like, so I guess <laughs> it sounds silly, but I guess it is American and it's so, but it's not the it's not the side of America that I like. It's not the side of that any of us here represent. Against the backdrop of American history, from the revolution to the Civil War, what does it mean in this moment for a black man to be wearing a uniform of our government? Well, I want to make sure we isolate this uh, to what it is is that there is a movement, um, much of it follows the mega uh, movement that uh, as often find itself uh, taking on issues that discriminate against African Americans and Hispanics, black and brown people. That is a theme that they weave. And then they, when they let the army out, uh, the army that they let out, this terrorist group, the mob, they didn't mince word. They went straight to the heart of the N-word and used it repetitively to uh, terrorize our officers. Uh, this is a cry and shame. Yet, as soon as the hearing was over today, we had members of the Republican House uh, totally distorting what was happening. They've elected not to be in the tent 
where the truth will come out, they decided to stand outside the tent and throw rocks in the tent. And one of the biggest lies that they came from, uh, Lena McCarthy and his crowd, is that Nancy Pelosi led the, was in charge of security. That's a lie. Every action they move on is a lie. The election is a lie. The This notion that uh, Speaker Pelosi is responsible for the House security is a lie. She's equally responsible with Mitch McConnell, who was in charge that day. And oh, by the way, President Trump, the commander in chief, who I think from listening to these officers today and other information I've seen, I think the executive branch was complicit in the slow and no response from other agencies of the government that the executive branch and members in there were complicit that caused this beating and this racial beatdown that these officers took on TV. And remember, everybody in that room today, the officers and those members that are questioning, the members were survivors of that day. So they saw what happened. And the officers were the actual officers doing the fighting. How Kevin McCarthy and his crew think they can change this to a bumper sticker that said Nancy Pelosi was in charge, they are continuing to a delusional level of line. This is super stupid Lieutenant what they're General, trying to do. Lieutenant General, I, I, um, there's so much that you encapsulated in our conversation and the context that you've provided about how racialized this moment became uh, and how dangerous that is to our democracy. Um, thank you for that. And thank you for speaking from your heart in this moment.